In this episode, I will tell you how in less than 10 minutes you can add an admin panel to your application. Without further ado, let's start. I've created an example API application to which we will add admin panel. Let's see how it currently looks. In the server.js file, we initialize an express application. Then we assign two routers, one for managing users and one for places. Finally, we launch it along with Mongoose, the MongoDB client. Our virtual application allows users to store their favorite places in a given city. So we have three Mongoose models. User with name and email, city with name and description, and finally, the core model plays with name, location, and two references, one to the user and one to the city. Let's say we've just finished the API and we want to bootstrap the database with some data because we want to start working on the front-end application. We have a few options. We can write a script which will load the data. We can add data manually by using Node Interactive Shell. Or we can add an admin panel to do it there. In this episode, we will explore the last option and we will do this with the help of a package called Admin Bro. Long story short, it uses your existing backend framework to render an admin interface. We use Express in our application, so we have to install Admin Bro along with an Admin Bro Express.js plugin. Let's do exactly that. On the documentation, there is an example of how to create an Express router. Let's copy it. Now create an admin.router.js file to keep it compatible with our codebase. Paste the example there. We initialize Express in server.js so we can remove these two lines. Let's leave out default admin options and export the router so that we can use it. Now require it in our server definition and use it under the admin path. Now let's run the server with no daemon. This will restart the app whenever we change something. And now open the browser and point it to our admin panel. It's on localhost under 4040 port. Okay, we see that our Express server rendered an admin bro interface. But it is empty right now, so let's add our Mongoose models. Go back to the documentation. We perform step one. Now let's add some resources. Scroll down to see information on how to add them. We use Mongoose library to connect with our Mongo database. So we have to install admin bro mongoose adapter and register it using register adapter method. Similar as before, copy the example and install new dependency. Now go back to router file and register adapter there. Having that, we can pass Mongoose instance to our admin bro options. We are using databases RI. Okay, now let's refresh the page. On the sidebar, we see our database, which is episode 10, and all our models. Now, Let's add a new city. Let's use London as an example and add some description. City has been created. Now do the same with user. I will use my email. Since we have user and the city, now we can finally add new place. King's Cross will be our example. Now we'll add location. First, latitude and longitude. Admin Bro knows that user and city are references, so it allows us to pick one of the records from the database. 
we will use items we just created. And we have new place. Now we can bootstrap our application with data and easily find and update existing records. You probably noticed that we access the admin panel without authentication. Let's change that. When you go back to the admin bro documentation to an admin bro express.js plugin, you can see that it also has a method which creates an authenticated router. So let's install required dependencies, express session and cookie parser. Now we have to change our build router function and add authentication parameters. Start with defining cookie name. We will use environmental variables with default values. Now do the same with cookie password. Now virtually generate a super super long password. And finally, we have to define an async authenticate function, which takes two parameters, email and password. In the real world, we will find an admin in the database and authenticate it against the encrypted password. But to simplify things, let's take login credentials from environmental variables as well. So I'm defining an admin object with email, and password. And use it in our authenticate function. Now I will check if credentials are OK. If they do, return admin. Otherwise, return null. Let's refresh our admin panel. We see a login form. OK, fill it with default values. Password was love.js. And we are in. We've set up an admin panel with authentication in less than 10 minutes. That was awesome, but remember that admin bro is still in beta, so use it with caution. This is everything for now. In the next episode, I will show you how to further adjust admin bro to our needs. Subscribe the channel and see you next week.